everyone welcome back to my channel and as always thank you for joining me on my crafting adventures today we're sublimating onto a photo panel from ink experts using a scanned photo of my daughter when she was a little girl we're going to make a really cute design in canva and i'll show you how i do everything ready for week four of christmas gift ideas So here's the photo panel, that's the stand for it, I've linked it in the description box and the first thing I did was just measure it so it was 17.5cm by 12.5cm so I opened up Canva and I typed in square and then I just made a rectangle that was 17.5 wide by 12.5 high and that just represents my photo panel. Then I went to uploads, I'd already scanned in the photo and uploaded it onto my computer and uploaded it onto Canva and then I just went ahead and used the feature of background remover in Canva to take away the background. Then I cropped the photo and then you'll see everything that I found to go with this photo I found in the elements section of Canva and I just kept adding to it until I was happy with the design. The final thing I did was just add some text and then I changed this font to a font that I'm obsessed with at the moment called Lemon Tuesday. I use it for practically everything and then I just carried on playing about with my design until I was 100% happy and then I printed it. So as you can see, I didn't need to mirror my image for this design. I just placed it down on the floor and then the white part, the sublimation part, I just placed on top of the printed image. And then I just wrapped it around and secured it with some heat tape. I normally use the Cricut heat tape, but when I looked on Amazon, they were out of stock. So I just bought a different heat tape and I was actually really pleased with it. So I'll link that in the description box as well. Next up with a cold press I just put some chip shot paper down on the bottom and then I'll show you which side I kept up. That side was that I put that up so it was facing up and then I put some more chip shot paper on the top and then with a cold press I just tested my pressure and made sure that it was a nice medium pressure. So I adjusted my press until I was happy with the level of pressure. So I turned my heat press on and the guidelines on the Ink Experts website for this is to heat it at 190 degrees Celsius but my press seems to do better if it's a higher temperature so I did it for 200 degrees Celsius and I did it for 190 seconds and as you can see it turned out to be a really good result. So once it had cooled down, I just put the stand on it. It was really simple to do. I just put 
the smaller part through the hole at the bottom and then as you'll see I just screwed the larger part on top. This is the end result, I'm really happy with it. I think the colours are really bold and bright and vibrant and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Thanks ever so much for watching everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!